You don't have one for that at, at large time step, do you? Uh, actually, I have one on my on my laptop, but I didn't right. bring one at large time step into it. But it does exactly the same thing. Yeah, large it just time powers step. it too. I know. Yeah. 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 So what? Let's, let's go back. A minute. Yeah, let's talk about that this. One. It's fun. Yes. Yeah. Let's go back to the beginning. So what happens? Ooh, not that far. Okay. We know about the corners, right? Yeah. But what happens is the minute the corner thing forms, the center dies. And now we have enough space so each one of those little dots can form into a big dot on the next step. Okay? Now we got a big dot again. Corners. But it dies. <laughs> you know? And when it dies, then we've got we've got room to form new corners on this thing. Okay? Each one of them formed their own little square. And it's interesting to note back at that last one is you can only do a single corner on this thing because there's, they're so packed tight together so you can only get to four corners to start all over again. Like that. Dies off and everybody starts growing happily. I think maybe this might be like bacteria in a sense but all squared off. And you wind up with this pattern. So this was the fun stuff. This is what happens when you throw a little death in with real simple cell cellular tomba, is you wind up with fractal behavior. And actually, the others are fractal, too, because you're doing recursive. You hit the same pattern over and over again with the same results. You're, you're doing recursive things with that. Oh, now onto the hard stuff. Did everybody get a handout? Anybody not get a handout? OK. That's the whole grammar on one sheet, folks. Okay, I'm going to go through this really, really quick. This character here tells me that whatever's in the middle here is looking for context to allow it to grow on the left-hand side. This one likewise does it on the right-hand side. What you're going to see in here in this grammar is instructions about how to grow, where, they, where how many squares to go over, how many squares to go up, how you're going to grow. And what the square brackets tell it to do is it will skip over this in the search for context. That just says, I'm not here, but I'm going to tell you how to do it when you get here. Okay, a simple line is referred to as L. A forward diagonal line is a D sub F. A backward diagonal line is a D sub B. Corners are C, and we will do a corner demonstration as well as a line demonstration. A square B for box, folks. Okay, corner dot, the one that you guys have seen is called a D sub 1. That's a, a birth on 1. There is a different pattern at corners for birth on 2, that's D sub 2. Uh, D sub 3 is a two stage pattern, you won't see it, but it has two dots in the first stage and a single dot in the second stage. And the two dots are in a different position than the, than the birth on 2. So it has a different subscript as D sub 3. Okay. This is a little different. This is a 2R plus 1 space. 2R plus 1 is the size of the neighborhood. Okay? The ra two radiuses plus the standard column or, or, or row. Okay? And the important thing about this is the pattern can't develop unless you have that space. And I'll show you why in a minute. Okay. These are modifiers. This thing is overdefined as a point, or it's an endpoint, which is something it looks looks for in context to grow from. Okay, vertex is specified by this character. Directions: you can rotate 90 degrees, rotate 45 degrees. That's grid dependent. If I was using a hexagonal grid it would probably be in terms of 30 degrees and 60 degrees. Okay, and the bottom three are move up, move down, move right, move left, and however far it's supposed to go will appear in parentheses after it, and all of that, the motion things, will appear inside the square brackets I was talking about. Okay, now we get to talk about what happens if you stick a square inside my 2R plus 1 radius. In this case, the neighborhood is in red, the target square is in red, there's no death. 
green is the current time, blue is the growth in the next step that we've already developed. Okay, that green square that's outside the line is inside the neighborhood. And if you notice, the red square isn't going to develop. And the pattern that we saw where you take a single square and it grows to a big square, it can't develop either because it's too close to the line. Same thing here. You get a more fully developed bigger square, but it still doesn't grow. And the red square doesn't grow either. Mm -hmm. Same thing here. The top two squares don't grow. Okay, now. This is outside. This is what it should look like. This is outside the neighborhood. If you have the 2R plus 1 radius clear, ah, look at that. It develops and the other pattern develops. And I'm just going to click through all the possibilities here. So you can see if you have 2R plus 1, a radius like that around it, it can grow. So that becomes a context in and of itself. Okay, productions. Now, what I did was the squares that have the, the red around them, that's the context this thing is looking for. So, your variables are line and the 2R plus 1 space. <coughs> Dots are your constant. Your, your single square is a constant and your start line is, is L sub 0. L sub 0 leads you to a situation where actually you have L sub 0 with 2R plus 1 on either side, okay? And in this particular circumstance, that square refers to endpoints, not, not a square. And if you think about it, a line is nothing but a concatenated series of squares, okay? And the final one that doesn't have something on one side is an endpoint. Okay, so we're going to come down to the production here. We go, we have a space on either side of the line with two endpoints which leads us to space and a line that wants to grow at the end points on this line, the original one, and another line that wants to grow at the other end point, providing there's enough space for it to grow. Now, one of the things about this grammar is it updates globally just like the cellular telomere does. This was originally designed by a biologist back around 1970. His name was Aristid. Lyndon Meyer, and he got together eventually with a computer science group out of the University of Regina, or Regina, I don't know how it's pronounced, uh, and they actually came up with the grammar. This grammar is used in CGI to develop believable and real plants. Like roses. Yeah, I should I should have stuck I should have stuck one of those in there. I didn't think about doing that. Okay, now this is what happens as a result of that bottom line. This is the first line. Okay, this is the first picture here that says, yeah, there's endpoints on either side, and I have enough space. Okay, as a result of this one, you had enough space. You have an endpoint. You've got a new line. You have the original line with another endpoint and enough space. This develops into, we're looking for context on the left-hand side, do I have enough space to grow? Context on the right-hand side, is there a line with an endpoint there? This one shows the second line, which has the line on the left-hand side, and context of enough space to grow on the other side, and that's how it develops. Okay, this one's a little bit different. This is one of those squares, and the context again is in red. It's looking for a vertex. It's looking for a corner. Okay, your constants are, the variables, excuse me, are single square, corner, d sub 1, which I said was birth on 1, that's the corner dot that we've been looking at, single square, and your r, 2r plus 1 space here. Your constants are up arrow, right arrow. We've specified that this thing can rotate 90 degrees in the process of looking for places where it can update. Okay. And this is the vertex at each one of those corners. Your start is the corner. We have a corner which is modified that it has a vertex and there is enough space to grow on one side. 
Okay, from this, we have a corner with the vertex, and the instructions that we're giving it is we will go up one, one square and over one square in order to put the new pattern in. We have a single square here that is looking for context, which is the vertex in the corner, and it skips over this pattern with the instructions on how to build it that's in square brackets, because it's allowed to skip over that. That's invisible in terms of context. Okay, and on the other side, it's looking for enough space to grow, 2R plus 1. And the end result is we wind up with a corner with a single dot. Okay, second line, second rule. Okay, we have a corner with a single dot and enough room to grow. Okay, that corner with a single dot has another corner that's looking for context on one side, the, the single dot and the corner, and enough space to grow on the other side. Okay, so this is the context for that rule, and what happens is we develop this as a result. 